Kamala Harris, the first pres president of the United States. Yes, you are. Someone should have told Donald Trump that the president's job under Article 2 of the Constitution Someone should have told Donald Trump. And I, for one, am tired about of hearing about how a two-bit union buster thinks of himself as more of a patriot than the woman who fights every single day to lift working people out from under the boots of greed, trampling on our way of life. Donald Trump would be able to weaponize the Department of Justice to go after his political opponents. He could even turn the FBI into his own personal police force. That is not how it works in America. We love Joe. 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 Thank you all. We love Joe. God bless you and thank you very much. J.D. Vance likes to talk about how he's from Ohio. But as soon as he could, he ran away to Yale and Silicon Valley, cozying up with billionaires while trashing our communities. In the words of the great American poet, Nellie, it's getting hot in here. When I visited the vice president's residence for the first time, as I approached Vice President Harris for our official photo, she turned to me and asked, what's wrong? Mind you, we'd never met, but she saw right through me. She saw the distress. I immediately began crying. And the most powerful woman in the world wiped my tears and listened. Donald Trump fell asleep at his own trial. And when he woke up, he made his own kind of history. The first person to run for president with 34 felony convictions. As Vice President, as Vice President, Kamala sat in the Situation Room. Women are not without electrical, without, not allowed, not without electoral, electoral you know, we have a thousand trillion, we have a thousand billionaires in America. The result of the executive action I took, border encounters have dropped over 50 percent. In fact, there are fewer border crossings today than when Donald Trump left office. He's promising a bloodbath if he loses, in his words. The president was asked what he thought had happened. Donald Trump said, and I quote, there are very fine people on both sides. My God. That's what he said. That is what he said and what he meant. 